Сегодня мы с вами начнем движение с этого стима, потом без костюма, с нашей линии фотографии. Когда я вижу его там, я лечу спать. Now here, the first trick is not bringing your fingers in front of the lens. Now what does it mean that? Now, if you bring your fingers in front of the lens, now that will make the lens get fingerprints. And while we shoot, the image will get spoiled up. So how to avoid that? So, let me show you by grabbing my camera. So uh, with the right hand hold the grip properly and with your left hand, I mean thumb and the next finger to your thumb, the gap between those two, just place your lens between that and you're good to go. Now, now this one bring your fingers in, in front of the lens and neither you will get fingerprints on the lens. So this was the first tip. So now here comes the second tip. Now while we shoot in outdoor, now there is a 100% probability of getting your lens being dirty up by the dust. So now how to avoid that? because now the lens is only the main part of your camera if you spoil that you don't have anything to make your money so while shooting in outdoor now you can't stop your lens being getting dirty by the dust around you so now after that like you must clean your lens every time after you shoot the next only you must clean it up because now if you won't clean it up now it will get some scratches and while you shoot images or you do whatever with the camera shoot videos or clean images your images will get scratched up like the output will be zero the best result you give while clicking but still uh, you will have the zero output while you clean the screen so what will be the solution for that now even in amazon or flipkart you can buy the lens cleaning kit uh, now, that will, now that will cost you hardly around 200 to 300 rupees you get that that will be a good investment for your camera now the third tip is never shoot an auto mode if you shoot an auto mode now that will spoil your power's imagination and can never make you think beyond your limits. Because if you shoot an auto mode, the camera gets a full control on the image that you're shooting. Just that you have to press a shutter button and then you have the image. But that is not done. Because what you think is what you get. So if you think something different and you get the output something different, that you won't be satisfied. So try shooting in manual mode. And if you don't know anything about manual mode, we had a video in our channel that what is ISO, you can start from there. Now, so slowly, slowly, we will be completing the aperture triangle. So, now let's don't talk about that. So, what I was saying is that uh, start from the basics of the manual mode. Now, if you don't know anything only, like just start practicing with the manual mode. Like just play with all the numbers and all the settings, and then like slowly, slowly, it, it will take time. Like it won't. Now, it's not like that that you will be a one day pro. Like it, like for the basic manual mode, like it will take somewhere around three to four months. But that's fair enough for the beginners to learn because if you won't start from the basics then you won't learn anything in the future so okay guys this was all for today uh, thank you for watching this video and if you're new then please hit the subscribe button and like the video and share it with your friends